this step. Well, here's a milestone in this match. The first passing shot by Edberg. Beautiful, studied, rolled backhand. The others have been frantic attempts and all gone too long. thing just out of your picture there returning a ball to the ball boy and wanting another one the two balls collided I've ever seen that deuce Yeah, Pilene lucky though. I think it might have been a more telling volley. In fact, I'm sure it would if it hadn't clipped the net. Slow down here for Pilene. And he likes that roll backhand down the line and is very good at it. Could easily have been three love down at the start. Yeah. The French team side of the court, Guy Forger, Guillaume Roque, they'll be playing the doubles. It's always nice when uh, you play the doubles not having had to play singles as well without that extra responsibility. And that, in fact, that's the uh, same with both these teams. Take your seats quickly, please. Behind the players, quickly, thank you. I think this fellow is the uh, more composed, not this one, so far in this match. Edberg, I feel, suffering the strain and the responsibility. The whole tie could actually depend on this particular match here, the whole the Davis Cup so final. This could be crucial, this match, up. as the double so often is. And Edberg has had three chances to break and never looked like breaking. Emotional chap, isn't he, this Swedish captain? Beautiful passing shot. Very early he took that. I think he's got his eye in.
the ball to Hess in Sweden. Well, Edberg suffering there from what he's suffered from for quite a long time, really. A lack of service power, and that relates to his smashing power, and that was a force smash. Well, if that touched the line, I think it was just about the outside edge. A bit fortunate there. Was Ed Bird. You can sense it coming, yes. really. Ed Bird, very edgy. France have a lead of 3 1 first set. France beats 3 1. Yeah, well, these are all volleys that uh, Ed Bird should and would have made in his heyday, and indeed, yesterday in practice he did. But uh, this is the Davis Cup final for real, and the nerves have not evaporated as yet. French team uh, arrived here in Malmo on Sunday evening, having trained in a spa town in Brittany for a week together. They had a court, a flexi-pave court laid there, especially because it would be exactly the same surface they'd be playing on here. So, uh, Peel is used to this pace, and of course the ball. Fifteen one. Nice clean service action, isn't it? It relaxes you when you've got a break. It's like being two goals ahead, really. That was a fine serve and a wonderful return by Edberg at full stretch to control that. An incredible match this is. Every game with break points in it so far. Use the telling return at break point.
He really has defended when Jeez. facing break point. Feeling so well. Served well, attacked the net, volleyed well. And best return. And that's uh, going to lift his spirits, I'm sure. Yeah, finally he produces a return of serve, which is, uh, produces a defensive, which might have gone out that, but Edberg was taking no chances. Third break point. Now, for once, break point, second serve. Edberg starting the motor yeah, now, hitting yeah. more balls in four, got a better rhythm, he's cancelled out the break. French league restricted now to three feet, first serve. He's just beginning now at last to find a more comfortable rhythm as he moves. Yeah, I think he did then, Jerry. I think that uh, approach shot, the backhand approach to the Pierlene forehand, was a good shot. He lent into it. There was the old Edberg flowing style there. It looked very good. But up to that point, I think he's been uh, very, very patchy indeed, not doing what he normally does so well. I mean, he is the wonderful sight on the tennis board isn't he always has been still is but he has not done that uh, reputation of his real justice as yet i think he's very tense indeed as i've said before really not surprising he's got the weight of responsibility of the whole swedish nation on his back and he's got his reputation at stake because this is his final performance just two singles in this match and he's gone from world tennis to make a mountain out of a molehill on the contrary so i think that was an awkward fall he's flexing his right foot there isn't he yes it was the ankle i think yes <laughs> the ankle bent inwards there uh. yeah, just under the umpire chair you can see ken farrar the referee just move forward to see what's going on here. He may well take an injury timeout. I think he's going Three to. Three minutes injury timeout. Yes, he's taking an injury timeout. That's uh, a wretched, wretched thing to happen so soon in the opening rubber of a Davis Still Cup final. Uh, oh, it certainly is. Do I see a swelling there already? Well, we mustn't uh, jump to too many conclusions, but uh, if a player gets injured and has to can see the rubber then uh, and he's not fit to play again <laughs> 